in our world there are so many evil there are so many things there are so many chaos there are so many reasons to be afraid there are so many reasons to be fearful truth but then you have this peace that you just know that this is not a feeling this is beyond what i can understand i cannot pin this peace on a feeling i cannot pin this peace on what i know but this peace comes from somewhere it comes from god and the scripture says this peace will guide you as long as you live in Christ Jesus. Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is such a pleasure to have you watch today's video. I am Uem Akpa and thank you so much for all of you that have subscribed to this channel. And if it is your first time watching, really, I appreciate you subscribing to my channel. I know we can all get this to a thousand subscribers and even more so that this message can spread to more people. And don't forget to like the video you watch if it is interesting and valuable to you. Today's video, I want to talk about peace. Not just any peace, but the peace of God. Now, scripture says in Philippians, and the peace of God that passes all understanding shall guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That is the scripture that came to my mind. And the premise of that scripture in Philippians chapter 4 said, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Now, he got to that scripture that I just quoted. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Now, this is very important to me that when I saw the word, the peace of God will guard your hearts and minds. The first word that came up to me was, the peace of God is my security. And I had to write it down. My security. For the peace of God to guide my heart and mind, this is my security. And of course, it is so interesting that if you research the word peace in the Bible, the Bible word used for peace, it means shalom in the Hebrew. And in Greek, it is the word irene. You can check it on your Google. Google it. You see it. And these words are so rich. They are richer than the word in English, in English language, peace just means serene, calm, quiet, and all of that. But in the Greek and Hebrew, it gives us the real meat. It means security. It means prosperity. It means welfare. Because in a real sense, when a nation is at peace, it means it is not at war. So it is safe. It is secure. And it means there, there will be harmony when there is peace and once there is harmony there is prosperity same thing would happen to your heart and your mind and your life when they battle with worry with fear with dread and all these things are won because you have the peace of god with you you have prosperity you prosper in your emotions you prosper in your mind you prosper in your doings because if you are living in fear you cannot prosper. And that is why scripture admonishes you. Instead of you being fearful, you should know that God did not give you the spirit of fear, but he gave you the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. So how can you come to a place of winning the battle in your life? It is to have the peace of God. And scripture here says that this peace of God passes all understanding so it means this is the picture of jesus inside the boat in the passage in scripture that talked about jesus and the disciples being in the sea and the sea was roaring and the wind was beating it up and the disciples were all frantic and afraid and i'm like master you sleepy don't you care that we are going to perish and he had this peace that was beyond understanding and this was just a physical picture of us living life knowing that in our world there are so many evil there are so many things there are so many chaos there are so many reasons to be afraid there are so many reasons to be fearful truth but then you have this peace that you just know that this is not a feeling this is beyond what i can understand i cannot pin this peace on a feeling i cannot pin this peace on what i know but this peace comes from somewhere, it comes from God. 
And the scripture says, this peace will guide you as long as you live in Christ Jesus. So the guarantee of the peace of God is living in Christ, knowing that Christ is the bedrock for your life. He is the rock under your feet. He is your help. He is your strength. He is your help. He is your Lord. He is your Savior. Once you have this assurance and this knowledge, it is just it just makes you peaceful. You know that even if I worry, right? Even if I'm anxious, my anxious thoughts is not going to bring anything good to me. But then if I trust God, I believe something good is going to come out of this. <laughs> something good is going, to, is going to come out of trusting. Something good is going to come out of my faith in Jesus Christ. Because he is not just a savior that is a mouth-mouth savior. That says, I'm going to save you, I'm going to save you, and never does it. No, he says it and he does it. He has proven himself over time to be faithful. The scriptures even tells us that even when we are faithless and unfaithful, he is still faithful. That when we call unto him, he says, son, I've been waiting for that call. I'm here. Daughter, I've been waiting for that call. I'm here. I've been waiting to help you. I've been waiting to secure you, to protect you. I don't want you to live in a place of fear. And Psalm 91, he tells us, you should not be afraid of the terror by night nor the arrows that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. It's, it means at all the four corners of your day, each day, you are covered. The terror by night, the arrows by day, the pestilence in darkness, the destruction at noonday. It means all the four corners of your life of each day is covered. Because of what? God is your refuge. And he is your fortress. The most high, the El Shaddai. Are you lacking? Do you need protection? Do you need welfare? He says everything is possible. This is the peace of God. This is the knowledge of the peace of God. Jesus, before leaving the disciples in John Gospel, he said to them, I am leaving you with a gift. Peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. This peace is not a peace that you can say, oh, if I don't get it from God, I will get it from having a restful time, relaxation, or by having much more money, or by having much more resources, or by gathering much more resources. You realize that people have gone up there, they have gathered resources, they have made this money, but then they still lack the peace. Because they were looking for peace, really. And Solomon said he was doing this research. In real time, he looked for it, he had all the resources. In fact, thinking that many wives can beat it, he had, <laughs> he had a thousand, 700 and 300 concubines, which is more than a thousand. He had up to a thousand and more. But then, he did not give him the peace he needed. Because this peace was already found in God and placed in God for him. It is the peace of God. And the scripture makes us know that God is the God of peace. So you cannot have the peace of God until you know the God of peace. He is the God of peace and he is the one that dispenses this gift of peace. So lastly, I just want to remind you, which I believe you already know, that the gift of this peace of God is not a feeling, but it is a presence. A presence. God's gift of peace is not a feeling. I just feel peaceful. It can translate to a feeling once you come to embrace this presence. This peace of God comes from the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit with you, such that you are fully aware that I am not alone. Because when you feel like you are alone, you can now be afraid. But when you know I am not alone, God is with me. I'm not alone. I have the Holy Spirit. I'm not alone. Jesus is with me. He will never leave me. Promise so. And to confirm that promise, he gave the Holy Spirit to live in me. So I'm not alone. And I am never alone. And I will never be Alone with this assurance, I know I have the peace of God. I know I am walking with God. I know that in my troubled time, I can tell myself, don't be troubled. God will not make me not to be troubled, but I will tell myself not to be troubled. So the scripture says, don't be troubled. It is in my jurisdiction to stop troubling. Just like scripture would say, be still and know that I am God. Just like God told Israelites, be still. 
Keep quiet. I am your strength. So when you say he is your strength, you should know that being your strength, he is the one to fight your battles. So let the peace of God, who is your security, secure you. Know that you have the presence of God with you and you are never alone. So this is the gift that God dispensed through Christ to us. That we know instead of worry, instead of fear, instead of anxiety, instead of staying dreadful, instead of being overwhelmed by my situation, I have peace. And this peace of God is someone, something that I cannot understand. But then this is my security. This is my prosperity. This is my welfare. This is my health. This is everything I need. The peace of God. You guard your heart and your mind as you live in Christ Jesus. The life that I live in the flesh, I do not live by myself, but I live by the faith of the Son of God who died for me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2 verse 20. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I pray that the peace of God will be your experience. That you experience the peace of God in full and you experience God walking with you. You experience the presence of God in the midst of your trouble that it will not even make sense. Like, why am I so peaceful? I'm supposed to be angry right now. Why am I so peaceful? I'm supposed to be really vexed right now. I'm supposed to retaliate right now. Why am I so peaceful? It is the peace that passes all understanding. Take care. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.